one of them that says, uh, my bartender can beat up your life coach. <laughs> one of them's a magnet and one of them's a shirt, which we, uh, were donated quite a few. And then, uh, I'm also putting up, I don't know who all's, uh, Dale Earnhardt fans, but, uh, we got a few, about three badass, you know, pictures of the king himself, uh, framed. So, the, uh, the life coach, <laughs> my bartender can beat up your life coach. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna sell those. So, the little magnets, the, the one of them, one of them's a magnet. We'll do those for $2 a pop. We'll do the shirts for $5 a pop. Um, now, the Earnhardt, the Dale Earnhardt uh, pictures, we're doing them all, we're doing them separately. Or, if we get a big enough offer, we might just do all three of them. But, we're auctioning those off. So, the email address is dgn1980 at my.com. If, uh, if you want, the, the Dale Earnhardt shit is going to go towards BWI. The, my bartender beat up your life coach <laughs> is going towards DGN. So, if you want one of those, email us at dgn1980 at my.com. Let us know I got what a question. you What? 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 And this is just an idea. What if? Uh, no. <laughs> ahead, I'm, I'm just saying. What if, what if we give everybody till this Friday, this Friday night, and we did a live on air auction on Spreaker? So anybody that wanted to get into this, you know, this this auction for these pictures, has to download Spreaker, has to get onto our show that night, and start bidding it up. But there's yeah. going to be a reserve. It has to get to a certain point. Because there's because people are out and about wanting to go hang out and chill out and whatnot during Friday nights. You know how the Friday night shows go. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it through the email. I had thought about that, but <clears throat> I mean, you know, people are going to be out and about and shit, man. Yeah, yeah especially on Friday nights, especially with it being Veterans Day weekend. Yeah. You're probably oh, not, yeah. that weekend's probably not gonna not gonna hit it right. So, if you want the shirt and a magnet, email dgn1980 at my dot com. The magnets are two bucks. The shirts are five. Put in your size and how many you want and your address, so that way we can mail them to you. And as far and as the later. <laughs> don't. Nimron. <laughs> no, we're not going to stock you. Um, and kidding, as just... far as the Dale Earnhardt stuff goes, now, when you email us at dgn1980 at my.com, you have to say Dale Earnhardt picture number one, number two, number three. It's posted up on there. The biggest one's number one. The one on top's number two. That's third picture's on the bottom. That's number three. And we're going to start the bidding off on each one of the pictures. At 50 bucks. Alright. So. You can email us. We'll give you. Till this Saturday. And then this Saturday. I will be checking emails. And we'll see who's. Who's. Who's got them up there. There's some old ass pictures. Like. Yeah, they got a grandma's attic pictures. <laughs> and. Uh, if you want them. They're yours. So whatever's made off the. The Dale Earnhardt pictures. Is going to go towards. Brandon Warriors Inc. Tattoo therapy program, and whatever uh, my bartender can beat up your life coach, whatever we sell off of that will go back into DG Network. Um, as everybody can see, the three percent of morning show has a new little pick here, and we uh, did some revamping of the Dangerous Grounds Network uh, actual logo. I like this a whole lot better. I still. Wish they did. I wish still wish they could have used the other font, but I think the font on this one looks a whole hell of a lot better. Um, so yeah, you know that that's what I was kind of screwing around with all weekend. Was that hanging out with my boy and uh, 
doing some crazy shit. It's funny, man, when your son gets 17, 18 years old. You know, it just changes. <laughs> he, he's still a good kid, but uh, <laughs> he, he, he's got some funny fucking jokes, especially when he gets around people and it's just... <laughs> And you talk about your dad. That was funny as hell, dude. I was so wish I could have seen him deck that guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was already proud because I heard a bunch go, her bunch of people go, "Oh shit!" I'm like, "Yep, mm, what happened? <laughs> Who just got knocked the fuck out?" <laughs> What's up, Oz? <laughs> what up, Ron? Sorry, I'm just pulling back over to the chat group. Nice to see y'all this morning. Um, is Dale, Ju- is Dale Sr. Um, it's all Dale Sr. Um, and, uh, what the fuck? Hey, uh, you got background noise. Uh, I cannot do the background noise. <laughs> Call him back in a minute. <laughs> that dry, I can't can't do that no more. Um, all right, so we'll go on a little song break. We'll get a uh, we'll get Big Dog back up on here. Um, let's roll with some Five Finger this morning to start off. Uh, to start off the the morning to get. Uh, yeah, let's start with Five Finger. Here we go. <laughs> Love a little bit of five finger. Um, and this is just a question from the chat group. I don't, dude, dude, you gotta chill to mute yourself or something, man. That's a lot of feedback. Players getting some uh, 
be back from the uh, air blow in the car. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> just to answer the question in the chat group, uh, you know, we got we got a lot of cool sponsors right now, and I'm not gonna push anybody else's shit unless they want to become a sponsor. You know, no disrespect, but I'm not. <laughs> Not, not less, you know, we'll mention combat flip-flops and the Veteran Exchange and Madison Rising, of course, but I can't, I'm not mentioning anybody else because I have to become a sponsor. So, if you got, you know, an organization or an apparel line or a company that helps veterans or non-profit or whatnot, and you want to get recognized and sponsored, you know, become a sponsor of the Dangerous Grounds Network, Email us, and we'd be more than glad to uh, get some commercials and <clears throat> and stuff done and uh, put you up on the website and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I, I can't not mention nobody else unless that happens. So, there we go. All right, so this whole Bush, uh, this whole Texas shooting thing, uh, this was released just a few minutes ago. This is uh, from President Trump. This act of evil occurred as the victims and their families were in their place of sacred worship. We cannot put into words the pain and grief we all feel, and we cannot begin to imagine the suffering of those who lost the ones they so dearly loved. Our hearts are broken. But in dark times, and these are dark times such as these, Americans do what they do best. We pull together. We join hands, we lock arms, and through the tears and through the sadness, we stand strong, oh so strong. Yeah, and that's coming from President Trump. And, you know, that's, you know, automatically jumping into to the mix of, of what the hell happened with the Texas shooting. And what the fuck's wrong with you people? It's a church. You know, we got our freedom of religion, freedom of speech, all these freedoms that we talk about all the damn time. But yet, here you go again with the whole, hey man, mute yourself, dude. I'm getting lots of feedback. Uh, I'm getting, you know, once again, we, we do our freedom of speech, freedom to, to, to carry arms, freedom of religion and all this other shit. And you want to come over here and you want to fucking kill people. You want to fucking destroy shit. Hey, that's called, uh, get a plane, get a boat and get the fuck out of here. You know, we, we got America, you know, this might piss some people off, but you have to look at it this way. We're, we're kind of a mutt. We're, America is made up of all different religions, all different races and stuff like that. We don't have just one specific race or religion or color of person. So we're made up of all different countries, man. And this is, this is bullshit. There's no sense of pulling this shit. There's no sense of destroying stuff. Because guess what? It's going to raise taxes on your fucking end too. So you're going to end up down. Oh, he dropped. <laughs> So you're gonna end up down, end up paying for it on, uh, end up paying for it at your on, on your own anyway. So uh, you know that's that's plain and simple. All right, man, have fun at the dock. <laughs> so uh, you know it, it, it's that's this this is a bunch of bullshit, bunch of horseshit. And you know if anybody's got anything extra they want to tune in on that, you know uh, throw it in there in the chat group. And uh, put it on there. We'll we'll, we'll damn talk about it. Definitely. Um, so Antifa didn't show up yesterday. They uh, kind of pussied out and whatnot, which was a good deal. We didn't have to mess with too much destruction yesterday, except for you know what happened in Texas and and all that shit, man. So you know it's uh you know better 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 safe than sorry. Better them puss out because. There would have been a lot of, would have been a lot of police force having to get involved. You'd have had a lot of damn true-blooded Americans bringing out, uh, <laughs> breaking out 
their their weapons and stuff to defend herself. So that's you know that was one of the.